Hi there, I'm Eric Evans and I'm a horticulturist here at the San Diego Botanic Garden and today we are in the Hamilton Children's Garden. It's such a lovely space because we plant so many unusual <laughs> plants that make you think twice, they make you look twice. One of the great examples is right behind me and it's in full flower right now. It is the Devil's Hand Tree. It is Chiranthodendron pentadactylon and that sounds <laughs> very long and complicated. It's basically Greek heavy Latin for the five-fingered hand flower tree. And if you look, it really does look, the flowers really do look like a five-fingered hand. It's sometimes called the monkey hand tree or the devil's hand tree. These marvelous flowers that look like they have a hand coming out of the sort of calices here. Actually, this flower doesn't have any petals. Uh, we have stamens, which are pollen structures. And you can see those, maybe you can see those right on the back there. That's the pollen. And then the cup is actually a calyx, like the back of a rose that's green. And it's full of nectar. And the idea with the shape of the flowers is to attract birds, which feed on the nectar and the calyx. And they bump their little foreheads on the, on the pollen structures on the underside. And so that's how this tree is pollinated. This tree is native to Mexico, as well as Honduras and Guatemala. Um, but it's very closely related to our own Southern California and Baja native Fremontodendron, which you might know as the flannel bush, which is another uh, fairly small tree like this is. This one will get a little taller than our flannel bush, but it's a lovely tree for um, kind of a smaller yard where you don't want something that gets too big, but you really want something that's so unusual <laughs> and will get the kids excited. It's such a fascinating plant, and we're so lucky to have it here right where the kids can enjoy it. So do come and see it. Uh, it'll be flowering like this until about the early summer. 